Hi, welcome to Vista 5. I'm your host, Ian, and in this video, I'll be walking you through Positive Pay as well as how to design a unique Positive Pay template. A Positive Pay file is sent to the Productions Bank through Vista 5. This accomplishes two things. One, with the Positive Pay file containing a check's info, the bank is able to verify the validity of that physical check once it is received. And two, Positive Pay tells the bank to sweep money from an associated interest account, like a money market for example, into the bank account to cover the cost of that cut check. Under Setup Bank Accounts, there are a number of standard templates to choose from, ranging from Bank of America to City National Bank and a few others. And typically, it is best to have Vista 5 auto-generate the Positive Pay files. This automatically sends the file to the bank upon cutting the checks in the Process Payments module. In the off chance the bank does not receive the positive pay file, it can be retransferred in Payments Positive Pay. Select the bank, the file to transfer, and click Generate Positive Pay. The file will then be transferred to the bank. From this window, reports on previously generated files can be run simply by selecting the file and clicking Generate Positive Pay Report. Creating a template for Positive Pay is conducted under Utilities Positive Pay Creator. The bank should provide the production with a form from which all the template parameters can be derived. The templates are broken into three sections, Header, Detail, and Footer, which each have their own data grids. The translation table links Vista 5 terminology to specific abbreviations used by the bank. We'll talk about the translation table later. Under the Header, Detail, and Footer tabs, note the many options in the Data Source and Field Text dropdowns. These should cover all possibilities provided by the bank. However, for this tutorial, we will only discuss a handful of options used in our example form. Here is the form that we will be using in this tutorial. Starting in the Header, Give the template to be a name for Vista 5 and a description if desired. Then enter the output file name, along with the record length, which should be provided by the bank. Looking at the body of the form, we see the first item, Record ID. Under the column, Constant Remarks, we see Literal GSQ. In Vista 5, in the first row, under Data Source, we find constant as an option. This opens the next column, field text, for text entry. And this is where GSQ will be entered. Going back to the form, we find the item to have the positions 1 through 3. These numbers will be entered in the start and end fields of the template creator. There is no other information pertaining to this row, so we will move forward to the next. Here we see account number, no remarks, and a position from 4 to 13. So in Vista 5, bank info is the data source, and account number is the field text. And like the first row, the from and to are entered, in this case 4 through 13. In the third row, blank is translated in Vista 5 as system info and filler. Looking at the field data, we begin finding check information. The account number is 10 digits long, right justified, and zero filled. This will be entered under the Detail tab found at the top in Vista 5. First, select Bank Info, and then Account Number. Enter the length, and then select Zero Filled, which is automatically right justified. The form from the bank is also requesting a void indicator. In Vista 5, this is translated as check info, check type ID. Any language pertaining to a particular type of check, like a voided or canceled check, will use the check type ID option. Jumping down to row 5 of the field data section, we see the amount stating Assume Decimal. In Vista 5, check off the decimal box in these cases. 
Row 6 is for the check date with a particular date format. Upon selecting the check date option in Vista 5, indicate the format accordingly. Looking at the trailer record, perhaps better understood as the footer, we see in the second row the total indicator with a literal T. Like the very first row in the header, this is a text field. In Vista 5, go to the footer tab and select the date source constant and then enter T into the field text. Row 4 requests the total number of checks to be listed, again with the zero filled option, which is automatically right justified. The last row of the example form is the hash total left justified. In Vista 5, hash total can be found under the data source check info. This brings us to the last tab, Translation Table. In the form, the void indicator was noted with a constant remark of V. So in Vista 5, V is to be entered in the void mapped to field. Complete any other indicators necessary for the bank's form. And don't forget to save the translation table. Once everything seems squared away, save the positive pay template as you would any other document in Vista 5. Hit enter or click the disk icon. Lastly, don't forget to associate the positive pay file with the bank under Setup Bank Accounts, where we were earlier. Click on the positive pay template drop down and select the newly created template. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call EP Product Support at 818-955-6300 or email us at support at entertainmentpartners.com. Thanks for watching.